Hello there you guys, welcome to one of my videos. Is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer under pressure to succeed? Manchester United face a season of high expectations. Manchester United should win the Premier League this season. Solskjaer's ambition for this season is to win the Premier League. We haven't won the Premier League since 2013, which is eight years ago now. Solskjaer has said that Cristiano Ronaldo makes Manchester United title favourites. Man United are set to pay off Cristiano Ronaldo's transfer fee before he's kicked a ball. According to journalist Tom McDermott, Ronaldo will train with his new Manchester United teammates for the first time on Thursday. Ronaldo arrived in Manchester last week. Darren Fletcher greeted Ronaldo. I can assure Ronaldo is going to do well in his second spell at Manchester United. Despite him being the age of 36... He could play for Man United until he's almost 40. Don't forget last week, Ronaldo praised Edison Cavani's incredible gesture after shirt number swap. Ronaldo is Man United's new number 7 and Cavani is wearing the number 21 shirt. Last week, Cristiano Ronaldo had his first interview he did say, I'm very happy to be back home after 12 years. Ronaldo became the all-time international top scorer with two late goals against Ireland. Ronaldo signed a two-year contract with Man United with an option of a third year. Ronaldo will receive £480,000 a week. So he will be the highest earner at Old Trafford. Man United agreed a fee of 15 million euros. There's a further 8 million euros in add-ons. So that's 23 million euros in total. That equates to 19.7 million in pounds sterling. And the other week, Cristiano Ronaldo completed his medical. He was our final signing of the summer transfer window. Um, I'm expecting Ronaldo to make his debut against Newcastle this weekend. In Solskjaer's press conference prior to the game against Wolves, he made a public plea for Cristiano Ronaldo to rejoin. After our 1-0 win against Wolves, Solskjaer confirmed that Ronaldo will play as a centre forward. Ronaldo is the greatest player of all time. He's won 32 major trophies in his playing career, including five Ballon d'Ors. In his first spell at Man United, 
He scored 118 goals in 292 games in all competitions. And he won three Premier League titles. He won the Champions League. He won the FIFA Club World Cup, the FA Cup and two League Cups. In his first spell at Man United, he endured six years. When we first got him, we paid £12 million for him from Sporting Lisbon. Sold him to Real Madrid in 2009 for £80 million. We gained a £68 million profit. He endured like 10 years at Real Madrid. And Juventus got him in 2018 for £88 million. He endured three years at Juventus. His current contract at Juventus was due to expire next year. But I think there's a lot of Man United fans that are shot that he's re-signed after 12 years. Because Man City were the favourites to sign him. Man City held talks with Cristiano Ronaldo's agent, George Mendes. But Man City ended up pulling out of the race. But the reason City went in for him is because they couldn't get Kane because Kane is staying at Tottenham. Cristiano Ronaldo made it clear to Juventus that he wanted to leave. He left Juventus training after like 40 minutes. <clears throat> but yeah, like I mentioned, Manchester United enjoyed a very good summer transfer window. We made four signings. We brought Tommy Eaton in on a free for Aston Villa. We brought Jadon Sancho in from Borussia Dortmund. We brought Rafael Varane in from Real Madrid. And we re-signed Ronaldo. We spent around £140 million. The only disappointments were is that we didn't get a midfielder. I'm expecting Manchester United to sign a midfielder in January. And the other disappointing thing is, was, is that we only managed to sell one player. And that was Daniel James. We sold Daniel James to Leeds for twenty-five million. Daniel James signed a five-year contract with Leeds, and he'll wear the number twenty shirt. Solskjaer received the backing he deserved in the summer transfer window. Our owners, the Glazers, backed him only because they've been persuaded to. Obviously, towards the end of last season, the Glazers were planning to scrap the Champions League for that European Super League. So, reflecting on that, a lot of United fans protested against the Glazers at Carrington. Then, obviously, they protested against the Glazers outside Old Trafford. But Solskjaer revealed that the Glazers apologised. And at one point, it said the Glazers could have been forced to sell Man United, but for only... Four billion pound. Back in June, uh, Joe Glazer attended a fans forum and he promised Manchester United supporters that Solskjaer would have got the funds that were available. The reason, the reason the Glazers have been one of the biggest issues at the club for a long time is because they've put Man United in so much debt. The Glazers have been with us for 16 years. They purchased the club for £500 million back in 2005. Uh, John Murtough, he's also back Solskjaer. Uh, John Murtough is our director of football and Man United certainly made the right decision getting a director of football in because I did mention that's one of the structural changes that we needed at the club. Darren Fletcher has also backed Solskjaer as well. I'm glad we brought him back to the club. Uh, Woodward has said several times before that he'd back Solskjaer. 
So he stood by him and when we was enjoying them bad periods under Ollie, Woodward came out and assured that his job was safe. Woodward is leaving Manchester United. It got announced he was leaving back in April when that European Super League came into the equation. Woodward has had a 16-year association with Manchester United. He's been with us since 2005. Like updated you yesterday, Sky Sports News said that Man United are close to appointing Richard Arnold as Ed Woodward's successor as the new chief executive. It should be announced in the next couple of weeks. Obviously, there's a lot of United fans that have got concerns about Richard Arnold. Solskjaer did mention a few times, though, during the summer transfer window that he was very pleased with our transfer business. Uh, Solskjaer blocked quite a few players' exits in the summer transfer window. He blocked Martial's exit because it said Martial rejected the chance to join Leon on loan on deadline day. He obviously rejected Donny van der Beek's exit because it did mention that Everton were close to signing Donny van der Beek on loan. Donny van der Beek sent a message to Solskjaer saying, pick me or I will go. Van der Beek's agent was talking. He insists that van der Beek will succeed at Man United and prove his doubters wrong at Manchester United this season. We should offload van der Beek because he's not getting enough game time at the club. Um, he also rejected a Langer's exit. Uh, rejected Lingard's exit. Um, I'm expecting Lingard to leave in January. We wanted £25 million for Lingard. I think West Ham were struggling to meet that asking price. But earlier on in the season, Solskjaer confirmed that Lingard remains part of his first team plans, despite that ongoing speculation. Solskjaer also blocked Diego Dalot's exit. But it did say, before the summer transfer window closed, that Diego de Lot was very likely to stay at Man United. So there you go. And we loaned quite a few players out in the summer transfer window. We loaned Brandon Williams out to Norwich. We loaned Ethan Laird out to Swansea. We loaned Andres Pereira out to Flamengo. We loaned Axel Toanzebi out to Villa. We loaned... Sahif Chon out to Birmingham and we loan for Kondo Palistri out to Alaves. But like I've said to you, you know, this season is absolutely massive for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Solskjaer has not yet won a trophy as Manchester United manager. And I said he needs to win a trophy this season to basically save his job. We haven't won a trophy since 2017 and that's nowhere near good enough to our standards. This is Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's third full season as Man United manager. Solskjaer has managed over 150 games as Man United manager in all competitions. So far this season, we have registered seven points from our first three league games. So we've won two and we've drawn one. We are third in the Premier League at the moment. Uh, Solskjaer privately views Chelsea as Manchester United's biggest title rival ahead of Man City. And Liverpool and Solskjaer also told his Manchester United squad that it's better than the 19, 1999 treble winning team that he was part of. And I said to you, it, it's a title winning squad. So the time for excuses is over. 
My perceptions haven't changed on Ole. I still don't think he's the long-term manager for Man United, but he does deserve at least this season. Last season... Sorry, before the start of last season... No. Before the start of this season, Solskjaer signed a new contract with the club until 2024. There's an option of a further year. And I think we certainly made a mistake giving Solskjaer that new contract. Because I don't think he'll see out that new contract. Oli has been in charge of Manchester United for almost three years. And reflecting now on his being at the football club, he has gained some managerial experience and he's learnt quite a bit on the job. Before he was with us, he was at Mould. He won a few Norwegian titles at Mould, but they're not a big club. He enjoyed two spells at Mould. And before Mould, he was at Cardiff, and his record at Cardiff was absolutely disastrous. The reason he got sacked from Cardiff is because he ended up getting them relegated. So he has no proven pedigree as a manager. The reason Oli is still Manchester United manager is because he's a club legend. That's what's basically saved his job. Oli enjoyed 11 years as a player for Man United. He flourished under Sir Alex Ferguson's guidance. Like I said, I do have my concerns about Oli. But there's also positives regarding Oli as well. You know, I think he has made good signings as Manchester United manager. Solskjaer has signed 14 players so far. And we've spent over £400 million in total. Oli's also got rid of a lot of players since he's come in, which he knew he had to do. You know, got rid of quite a lot of players permanently, loaned quite a lot of players out. I mean, Oli's first full season, he got us to... Three semi-finals and got us a third place finish in his second full season. He got us to the Europa League final. That was his first major final as Man United manager. He got us to the FA Cup quarter final, the EFL Cup semi-final in his second full season. Got us a second place finish last season. Uh, last season went the entire season without losing away from home in the Premier League. We are unbeaten in our last 28 Premier League away games, reflecting on that win against Wolves the other week. Solskjaer has more or less given everybody their chances to express themselves, including the young players, like he sure do would do when he got appointed in. And I like the way Solskjaer develops the youth. Uh, we have extended a lot of players' contracts since Oli came in, which is good. A few weeks ago, Solskjaer did say he wants new contracts for five players. That's Bruno Fernandes, Paul Pogba, Marcus Rashford, Luke Shaw and Harry Maguire. And Solskjaer's beaten quite a few big-name managers as Manchester United manager. He's beaten Bielsa a few times. He's beaten... Ancelotti a few times, he's beaten Guardiola a few times, he's beaten Jose Mourinho, he's beaten Tuchel and he's beaten Julian Nagelsmann. And he's beaten Jurgen Klopp in the FA Cup but he's not yet beaten him in the league. But in general you've got to turn around and say Solskjaer's done a good job. To say the current squad he was left with when he got appointed in as Man United manager. I didn't expect him to do as well as he has done, so in that aspect I am shocked. I've criticised Solskjaer a hell of a lot during his managerial tenure at Man United, but I've had my reasons behind it. But I still think he is our best manager since Ferguson. He's our fourth permanent manager since Ferguson. Because since Ferguson, we sat David Moyes, we sat Louis van Gaal and we sat Jose Mourinho. And we're not even really known as a sacking football club. Because we haven't really got the structure to keep sacking managers. 
We did appoint Solskjaer in, in December 2018 to replace Mourinho and he's been permanent Manchester United manager since March 2019. The reason we're giving the job permanently back in March 2019 was reflecting now well he did as the interim manager. Obviously, you know the news on Paul Pogba. Reports came out the other week saying that Paul Pogba is increasingly likely to sign a new Manchester United contract, reflecting on our summer transfer business. I think with us getting Ronaldo back, that should persuade Pogba to stay at Manchester United. Now, last week, a report by 2 Sports said that Juventus want to re-sign Paul Pogba. Pogba did enjoy four good years with Juventus before he rejoined Man United. Real Madrid also want him. Pogba's current contract at Man United expires next summer. Sky Sports News said earlier on this season that Pogba is very likely to leave Man United on a three next summer when his contract expires. Now, before the start of the season, it said that Pogba is set to join PSG on a three. Because it says PSG are pushing to sign him next summer and PSG are prepared to offer Pogba £510,000 a week in wages to prize him away from Man United. PSG couldn't get him in this year's summer transfer window. Their move for Pogba a stumbling block because they got Lionel Messi. <coughs> Sky Sports News said before the start of the season that Pogba sees a long-term future at Man United but may wait on the contract extension. Before the start of the season, Pogba rejected a new Man United contract and Sky Sports News came out and said that Pogba was increasingly unlikely to sign a new Man United contract. Solskjaer did reveal though that he had positive talks with Pogba over his future. Solskjaer is not worried at all about Pogba's contract situation. He did say that talks were ongoing over a new contract. Pogba's had a good start to this season. He's got five assists. He got four assists against Leeds and he got one assist against Southampton. He produced good performances for Man United in the last couple of months of last season, but at one point last season he was out with a thigh injury for a while and he sustained some ankle injuries at Man United. So, yeah. But like I say, I'm expecting players to leave Man United in January and I'm expecting more players to depart the club next summer. There's still certain players at Man United that are not good enough to represent the club. You've got Martial, that's not good enough. You've got Matic, that's not good enough. Fred's not good enough. Lindelof's not good enough. Lingard's not good enough. Phil Jones isn't good enough. Jones doesn't get in our 11 anyway. Obviously, we know Jones is staying at Man United this season after Solskjaer told him he remains part of his plans. Jones made his comeback from injury in that behind-closed-doors game against Burnley. Um, I'm expecting Juan Mata to leave after this season because Juan Mata's current contract expires um, at the end of this season. Earlier on this year, Juan Mata signed a one-year contract extension. He's too old now, he's Mata, plus he's lost that yard of pace. So, anyway, guys, that's everything to update you today. Drop your comments, likes below on the channel. If you do, consider subscribe as always, and take care. God bless. See you all again very, very soon.